Alright guys, we're here for another part of this vintage syringe making tutorial. Last part we were making this, so let's just continue. So it goes up to a straight line here and then we have a, a bulb of some sorts. So we'll just try to make that as best as we can. So we'll just drag this out to about there. Then do what we've been doing, scale up, move it out a little bit. And then there's a little divot point there. So it goes to right about there. Press E to extrude and then scale down. Press E to extrude again. And then we'll scale up. Press E to extrude and scale up again. And one more time like that. So we get that there. Okay, so let's go ahead and add a loop cut there. And then we'll go ahead and take all of this here and we'll press, uh, let's see if Alt S will do it. Yeah, we'll just. Do press Alt S since it needs to be a little thinner. Okay. Then we'll go ahead and add some more loops. Maybe if I zoom in, it'll be a little better because it's really just jagged and really imprecise. Okay, and we'll add another one here in the middle, right about. Uh, ah, that's fine. Add another one there. Add another one there another one there and let's see if that's good enough yeah that's good uh, let's go ahead and move this in here let's slide this up here it's not very even at the moment so let's go ahead and try to Scale this down instead. There we go. So this is where we're going to put these uh, rings here, and they're going to be super easy to make. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. But first, let's go ahead and uh, scale these down some more. Okay, uh, a cool trick in Blender is that if you just select one edge loop, so we'll select this innermost one here, you can press Control Plus for uh, topological selection and it'll uh, spread out based on uh, the topology. So we'll press F then Shift X, sorry S and Shift X again so we can exclude the X axis in this. Okay, so let's go ahead and add those uh, circles. So let's press Shift A, Add mes Mesh Circle. Just have to go into Edit Mode move it over here right about there. Scale up. We can go ahead and uh, see where is it? Resize. Uh, actually no. Uh, let's control Z. All that. Anyway, let's go ahead and add that one more time because uh, I'd like to change the vertices here. Uh, do we need fill? No, we don't. Let's, uh, I just want to take this down to 18, or not 18. Uh, let's say 24. That's better. I'll just do what we did again. Sorry about that. Okay, scale up some. Let's go into the top view here. That right about there is good. Let's go ahead and rotate so that uh, we get this part here. Then we'll move it up to the top here. Press E to extrude and then scale in slightly. And then select all E to extrude and bring it down. And there we have that ring. So a subdivision surface, smooth shading, and you see we get these weird lines. And by now you should know to just press A to select all, Control N to recalculate the normals. So let's go ahead and make these uh, hard surface as well. Add a loop cut with Control R, bring it up to the edge. Let's add one in the center here. Uh, let's see here. Add 
there. Uh, that's good enough. And, oops, and the innermost one here, right there. And let's do it on the bottom just in case. Then we can just duplicate this twice. Ah. Hmm. It's a little annoying. That's good enough. Anyway, so there we have our first ring. It uh, looks like it's a little too too f too thick. So let's just uh, select this ring here. Press Control Plus to select the whole thing, and then we can just press O for proportional editing and just uh, scale it up. Right about there. Maybe scale it down actually. Let's do that one more time. Uh, so there is good. There, that's much better. There we go. Bring it in. There, okay. See where we are on time, we're good. Okay, so uh, let's actually move this up some because it looks it looks too much like it's intersecting. Well, we could do a boolean operation for this, but it doesn't look too too great, so we're just gonna keep it as it is. So another thing, let's go ahead and uh, take this shift D to duplicate. Just tab to go into edit mode, and then we'll go into top view here. Bring it over here, and then we can go ahead and add a mirror modifier on the Y axis, and there we have a a nice mirror modifier. So because this is a this is what uh, these two rings is what we would use are sorry are what we would use to grip them with our index and middle finger. They should probably be a little bit thicker since that's where most of the stress would be applied to. So select that again, control plus, seven, and then just scale in some like so. Okay. We'll just position these better, like around there, and that's fine. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and refine this a little bit more and just fix stuff that doesn't look too great. Let's turn off proportional editing. Hmm, let's see what we can use. We need a little bit of more of a round shape to this here, since it looks a lot rounder here. So let's go ahead and rounder. Sorry, I don't know if that's the proper term. Uh, let's go ahead and press Alt S and just yeah, press Alt S and hold Shift to really refine the movement and just bring it out a little bit like that. Now we'll go ahead and select this and bring it more towards up towards the X, since we don't want it intersecting with that right there. Okay. This will look much better once we have that uh, chrome texture on it. I want to sharpen this up a little more. Yeah, it looks better sharpened. Okay. I'm f I have a feeling that this is way too big. Okay, turn on proportional editing. I can't see where the... Hmm. Can't see where the, um, the ring is, but oh well. We'll just um, mess around with it here. And there we go. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, and then we'll just go ahead and uh, maybe take this. Oh, uh, no, this one here. Let's turn off proportional editing. Let's just edge slide slide it somewhat, then edge slide this. Okay, and then we'll just add a loop cut. Hmm, maybe not there. But, uh, it'd probably be more appropriate right here. Yeah, that looks better. And then we can go ahead and take these two here. Press S Shift X, and then just scale it down so we can get a little bit of that. Uh, going on there. Select this and just bring it down a little bit more so we can have this a little bit longer. 
Oops, didn't mean to add that there. Okay, so now what we can do is just take this loop here with with the center vertex and just extrude it in on the X. Like so, just so we can get that effect or illusion going on that it's uh, actually inside. Okay, there we go. We've got that top part done. Well, not done, but for now it's done. Let's see where we are on time. And we're good. Alright guys, so thanks for watching the second part of the syringe making tutorial, and be sure to watch the future parts. Alright guys, thanks. Bye.